Welcome, yesterday I uploaded this video saying why it's time to be cautious about Bitcoin right now, but why the overall picture is still bullish. In this video, I'll be updating Bitcoin, talking about what I need to see next that's really going to confirm my bullish case. Now, before getting into all those details, I wanna give a quick shout out to my affiliate exchange, Bing X. I'm really liking this exchange because they allow trading of crypto, stocks, forex, indices, and commodities in one platform. No KYC required, good competitive fees. So check it out with my link in the description down below and I'd appreciate that. Now let's talk about this current Bitcoin situation and why I'm still very bullish, but that I do need to see one last thing to really confirm my scenario. Let's quickly recap what was discussed in yesterday's video and why I said to be cautious. Price had just come up and taken out this high here and this low over here. So what I was saying was be cautious, do not enter into a fresh long position up here because it's too likely that we're gonna see a reaction to the downside here after sweeping such a logical high and retesting this low over here. So that's exactly what we've gotten. And now what is the update going forward from here? Well, to get really confident that this move up is the beginning of the big weekly uptrending continuation move, I'm gonna to need to see first that this high is taken out again, okay? Price comes all the way back up takes out this high, then that's gonna be a good confirmation that the weekly uptrending move has really begun. And to, again, recap what that weekly uptrending move that I'm looking for is, well, let's go to the weekly, put up the 200 EMA here, and zoom in a bit. So the weekly uptrending move that I'm looking for is this push up, this is a sideways correction, and then we see a follow through for new highs out of there. So that is what I'm talking about. I'm um, looking at this as a retest of the 200 EMA here, retest of the 200 EMA here, and a retest of this high and this high, okay? So this is what I'm looking for, very classic setup here. And that's the move I'm talking about getting into here. And how do we confirm that that move is currently underway? Well, we can get pretty confident about it once this high is taken out, okay? So this is the high to look for. Now we need to talk about invalidation as well. So let's get rid of this 200 EMA and go out to a daily time frame. So for invalidation of this bullish scenario and to kind of confirm that this was just a stop loss hunt above this level and a retest of this low, if this starts breaking down below this consolidation right here, so let's put it in. Price breaks below this low of this pullback. That's kind of the confirmation that, nope, my weekly continuation is not currently happening. We're going into something else and probably coming down towards these lows. So that's kind of the end of invalidation level. And that also coincides with this 200 EMA of the daily time frame, where that would be breaking back under the 200 EMA on the daily. And if we get that close below that level, it's a pretty good sign that we're coming down for new lows and that no, we're not starting this weekly up move yet. Um, but I am still bullish. I'm still leaning towards this heading towards the highs. And uh, that is the main bias right now. Um, if we take a look daily prices over the 200 EMA and not only is it just over the 200 EMA, but we see a change in behavior in price this time as well. So we see this push up we see this push up, trying to get over that 200 EMA of the daily. But this time, we only close two candles over. This time, we only close two candles over. This time, we close six candles over the 200 EMA. We have a change in behavior. Not only that, but it's a bigger push up as well. And so what we want to see here is holding that 200 EMA here, not breaking down below it and closing below it um, like we did on these last two goes. Um, and that's gonna be, again, kind of leading me to this high. If we can continue back up here, it's a really good sign that, you know, this is definitely changed behavior. We're gonna be continuing up higher um, compared to these last two that quickly rejected and closed back under the 200 EMA, okay? Now we can go out to even lower time frames like four hour, yes, we're over the 200 EMA four hour, we're over 200 EMA weekly, we're over the 200 EMA daily, and even hourly, we're over the 200 EMA. So all time frames point 
to more upside points to us being in an uptrend. So I trade with the trend. Now this hourly lower time frame here, really the next thing again is to see if we can gravitate towards these highs. We don't want to start breaking down logical lows over here. I'm coming under the hourly 200 EMA. This is that significant low here. So really wanting to see this hold. This could come down again, maybe even sweep this low, but we wanna see a quick reaction to the upside out of there. Otherwise things are starting to look more bearish and I may start leaning towards that other scenario where we're going down, but currently still bullish, expecting that this gravitates towards highs. So that's how I'm trading um, this pullback. Okay, so that will wrap things up kind of going over the different time frames. That's the update. Um, that's why I said to be cautious yesterday, because look what we have. We have this pullback, it's pushed to the downside after clearing the logical high and retesting the logical low. So wanting to see follow through out of here. And that is it for now. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.